What's up guys, Surgic here, and welcome back to Get to Memories. If you guys don't remember, we got a little perverted. It, it actually sent your tails? That was a decision, it's kind of my decision. But anyway, today we're back. Let's wind down, grab a couple of pop snacks. You better, I'm watching you. I see you, put the phone down and go grab snacks. I see you. So anyway, we're, uh, we're back. Let's, re let's anyway, you can look back. Anyway, I can't say, I can't resist it for some reason. I just feel close to Masiko today. After witnessing her being so emotional earlier, the simple act of putting her ta tail feels rather imminent. I can't f help it. I gently cut off the fluffy appendage. Oh, okay, I'm weird. Mmm, <laughs> nah. Th that is a little too much, isn't it? it I don't know why would you let me. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Masiko. I got carried away. It's okay. I didn't really mind it. I, I don't know. You that, I don't know. That face could be hiding something. Both of us sat in awkward silence. Although I didn't stop putting, petting her fluffy tail, and she continued letting her purr like sounds of condiment. Hey, summoner! She called my name uh, softly. Hmm. If you do want to get yourself involved with that in incident you mentioned, then if you come to for me to help, I'll gladly do it for you. Although I may, Mister Goes, everything all right? Her voice is so soft I couldn't hear what she said. She giggles herself for some reason and she shakes her head. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> Nothing, don't worry about it. Whatever you decide, I'll respect your decision. I look at her for a moment and just nod. Mmm, you're ridiculous. I read out my head like that too. <laughs> After that, both of us fell in the comfortable silence with my gently petting her tail, genuinely enjoying each other's company. It lets me with a quite intimate feeling of relaxation, relaxation. With Mizuka, I feel like we're closer than before now. Eventually, I left an expansion in musical face as she waved me goodbye. Give me a good feeling inside. Oh crap, we're going to someplace else. I want to save it here. There you go. Now, back here we go. In the world of swirling of crawlers, seeing the unseen stretch all around from countless miles in the void between existence and non-existence. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. I can't think straight. Everything is fading away. I'm drunk. Oh, no, I'm not. That was high for a sec. Anyway, blah, blah. I feel on my knees the instant I arrive back in my descension. Nausea and dizziness cursing through my whole body. I tremble as I take a breath of air. Feeling like my body getting deep, damp with sweat. What in the world was that? I was just coming back from visiting Masika. I was in high spirits, and I, I thought there was nothing wrong was was going to happen. Then certainly didn't happen when I teleported it to her place. Ah, I can't even begin to explain what happened. I was suddenly in a place not quite there, like I was in a dream. Except it felt like my whole body was squeezed into a pancake, and that is not even the worst of it. Why am I saying this out loud? <laughs> Have you guys noticed I'm saying all of this out loud? Like, what if everybody, what if my neighbors could hear me scream my lungs off saying, Ah! I tried to mention my calm. Um, I tried to maintain my calm and take deep breaths. The worst part was the presence. Some, present, uh, presence. Something unholy lived there. And it was like something was trying to mess up my soul. Trying to work me into something I wasn't. Ah! I winced in the sounds I received, I received yesterday, suddenly burning and uncomfortably, I took off my shirt to take a look at them. They're red now. Oh gosh, they thankfully not deeply- Okay guys, I'm about to end it here. For some reason my, my uh, freaking, uh, storage would to be a douchebag. So anyway, so I got this video, get a thumbs up of course, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!